he started out with offering high ticket services, um, marketing, video production, um, that type of thing. And we built a small team and we really, we got into doing this video first content marketing. So we were helping people create content that showed off their business um, via talking head videos. Our process was definitely different than what I see out there. We started with having clients record talking head videos, um, one subject videos, five to 10 minutes long, um, interview style, except we would edit ourselves out. So it was just the client talking. Um, and then we use that to create all their content. So the transcript would turn into a blog post or an email newsletter, and the video would be cut up into snippets to put on all their different social media. And we'd pull social media copy out of the blog post or the transcript. So it was a way to create content for every platform based on the client spending only five to 10 minutes talking. Um, but it ended up that we ended up with all these templates. You know, we had. We had scripts, outlines for videos. We had a whole process for turning videos into different pieces of content. We had checklists for the blog post. We had checklists for the videos. Um, so we had all this stuff and you know, it was useful stuff. It was stuff that we were like, other people want this stuff. And we, you know, we played around with different ways to get it to people. Um, you know, clients that were paying us, they didn't really need it because we were doing all of the processes. So we tried, you know, a course for other people to do this for themselves. But people who want to do this don't want to do the work themselves. They just want to do the talking <laughs> and then outsource the video editing and the, you know, the blog writing and that type of stuff. So that didn't quite work. And people who wanted to offer this as a service and that wasn't quite right either because usually they already had at least part of the process you know that they've done and so it really came down to like the people who need this are the people who don't really know how to market themselves yet they know they need to be marketing their business they aren't going to hire it out because they're you know a solopreneur or a really small team this is stuff that they need to learn to do themselves and they're not going to spend you know twenty thousand dollars a quarter to hire other people to do it so how can we get these people all of the stuff that we've learned and created without you know charging them twenty thousand dollars per quarter to do the actual work you know so it, it was it's become a pivot point in our business where instead of you know, selling these client packages and having us do the work. Now we're selling a membership where people can come in, they can get all of this information we have, you know, this knowledge that we've built up for, you know, just a monthly rate or a yearly rate. And we can then be the, the advisors, the people who say, you know, step one, step two, step three, ask your questions, come back next month. Here's the next step. Can you tell us a little bit about the friction involved in going from a $20,000 per quarter high-end high-ticket client to a membership that is accessible to those entrepreneurs that are doing their own marketing? So going from high-ticket offers to a membership model has been an interesting journey. Um, it's definitely a transition period for our income because instead of, you know, selling high ticket services, we're focused on building this low cost membership. Um, but it's also been a really different use of our time. Um, Kathleen has always been, you know, the outreach person, the person that's getting on the sales calls, um, you know, connecting with other people. I've been the team manager, making sure the operations run smoothly. And now we are both really focused on creating, um, creating new content, creating, you know, more templates and swipe files, creating the monthly playbooks. Um, it's, so it, it's been a really, it's a different way of, of being in business than we've done before. Um, it's a different way of managing the team. The team is much more focused on our social media and helping us create things. Um, we still have a few clients that we are continuing to work with. So we do have, you know, still some client work, but um, I think for us personally, it's a really big mind shift to go from, you know, what is the client need to what do we want to create? What do we want to teach? How can we help people who, 
you know, aren't yet our clients, aren't yet members of the membership, um, you know, what do they really need? So it's definitely a different, a, a mind shift for us. Can you tell us to help the people that are listening in our business, what was it that finally pushed us into this membership idea? I often become the no person in our business partnership. Um, Kathleen is like so good at coming up with new ideas, but that means that sometimes I have to say, we can't start something new right now. You know, we have to wait till next quarter or put it on the list. Kathleen wanted to do a paid newsletter. That was, that was the thing that she came to me with. And I kept saying maybe next quarter, you know, we can start it in a little bit. You know, we've got to, we've got to focus on what we're doing. And she eventually wore me down because she was so passionate about it <laughs> that it kept coming back. Kathleen had joined Contrarian Cash Flow with Cody Sanchez. And um, Cody has a course on how to start a paid newsletter. Um, and so Kathleen had gone through it and was like, you need to go through this. You know, we should we should be doing something like this. This could solve the problem of how do we share all of these resources with other people. So I went through it. You know, we started to talk about, okay, how is this going to be structured? How can we, um, you know, do this in a way that doesn't totally overwhelm people? Which is, I think, probably our biggest problem with the membership is there is so much stuff that it can be really overwhelming to just pop into it. Um, so how do we organize this? How do we put it together? And it it ended up being, it's it does have a newsletter component, but it's much more of a membership where there is stuff to access. Um, you know, it could, because there's so many templates and swipe files and, you know, all of this stuff that the, is available that it didn't really fit in the newsletter format. So it's a membership at this point. You know, we've, we've sort of switched it to that. We ended up with this newsletter that turned into a membership, but, you know, we've, we can still follow Cody's formula. So, you know, she had a lot about how she started, how she um, you know, she built up free members first before she monetized. And so how she did that and, you know, her structure. So we followed through with a lot of that to get started. So can you talk about in our business where, what felt like the, the point of no return? What, what felt like the very first step on this journey toward a membership that works with entrepreneurs? So I think the, the, the point at which Kathleen and I both said, okay, this is going to work is we actually, we got together in Arizona. Um, we are live on opposite coasts. And so we don't get to see each other in person very often. Um, but we got together and I got a message from somebody on Facebook who I'd talked to in the past, but we'd never worked together. Um, and I was like, you know, we have this offer diagnostic, which I think would be what you need because she had all of these programs that she developed, but hadn't quite figured out how to sell it. And I was like, the offer diagnostic would work perfectly. You get three months free with the membership. So you have access to all of the resources that we've created that will help you market your program. Literally, we launched this offer diagnostic and we got the first person within like 24 hours. And then somebody else called Kathleen and was like, oh, I need help with this. And we're like, okay, I think an offer diagnostic would be perfect. So then we sold the second one. And then while we were together in Arizona, we did a webinar and we got the third one. And it was like, Okay, so we literally like put together and named this thing and we got three people right off the bat who were like, this is exactly what I need. Okay, we've, we've got something here, you know? So I think it's that combination of like, here's the next step. Here's the path that will get you there. Here's the resources you need to make it happen. Now go do it. And then, you know, you can come back and show us. We want to know. <laughs> But it's it's just knowing what that next step is, which is a, I think half the problem that we solve is here is a roadmap. I think the other half of the problem that this really solves is as a solopreneur, it's hard to listen to your gut. It's hard to say, I know I need to do this. And like three of the people that we've done this diagnostic with, it really has just been giving them permission to let go of part of their business or to say, you know what, this pivot that I want to do is the right next step. It really is that feedback that's like, yeah, listen to what your gut is saying. You're right. That is what you need to do in order to build or scale your business. And so here's what you need to do to take that next step. 
So I think it's a combination of, you know, a roadmap and then just permission. Can you talk about in our business after that initial three people signing up for a brand new offer, what were some of the tests and challenges that we faced after that? I mean, this, this whole process of transitioning from client work into a lower cost membership has not been without its struggles. Um, you know, the, the income portion of it going from charging clients, you know, 10 to $20,000 per quarter to a low cost membership where we're trying to build it, it, it's a dent in our, you know, our income. It's, um, it's figuring out how we're paying our subcontractors when we're no longer, you know, billing out thousands of dollars per month in client work. And it's also, you know, saying goodbye to clients that have been referral sources for us in the past. And so we want to end relationships on a really good note, but it is the end of relationships. And it is saying, you know, we're focused on a new direction and we've loved working with you, but, you know, now we're, we're leaving. And some of them haven't quite gotten it. You know, they've given us a like, well, I don't understand what you're doing. And, you know, are you sure this is the way you want to go? Um, so, you know, of course you question yourself a bit, like, is this where I want to be going? You know, it is a big change. It is a big, um, a discrepancy, a discrepancy in, in our, our income going from, you know, big packages to a smaller offer. Uh, so I think, you know, it's, it's, initiated some good conversations between Kathleen and I um, to just talk about, you know, are we sure? Is this the way we're going? But also, I think that's been really good for us to be, you know, to just reiterate that we think this is the best way that we can serve people going forward, that, you know, all of these things that we've created can help more people than just us and our team. You know, I think that's been a really positive thing for us. Tell me what it feels like to approach, to leave the world of high ticket clients and approach the world of entrepreneurs that are inspiring you every day. So now that we have started, you know, we have some members in the membership, we've done a few of these offer diagnostics. I think it's really reinforced the fact that this is the right direction for us because it's so exciting to see people have that like excitement about their business the the difference between these you know big ticket clients and the smaller ticket offer clients or customers is that you know you don't see a lot of excitement anymore in people who can pay you twenty thousand dollars a quarter um you know they've been doing what they do for a while they obviously enjoy it because they're still doing it but it's not like when you help that person who has run a blog and wants to offer a a, you know, a product or a service and they're trying to figure out how to do it. And then you figure it out and they are just like, so excited. They're like, yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. And, you know, I can't wait to work with more people. And you get to see that sort of everyday excitement and get the feedback from people that are like, you know, you've changed my business. You have helped me do something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, I mean, that just lights me up. That's so exciting. And, you know, Kathleen and I, we've had discussions after we got off the phone with someone where it's like, oh my God, that was so awesome. You know, I can't believe that we were able to give them so much information, so much help towards what they want to be doing. You know, I can't wait to see what a month down the road, what their business looks like. That's just awesome, you know? <laughs> yeah. Can you talk in our business about where where is the biggest pain in pivoting the biggest pain in pivoting is the difference in income for the business um it is questioning are we making the right step are we doing things you know too soon have we jumped into something that you know can't support us and our team and it's facing those fears of where's the money going to come from let's talk about the reward in our business right now where where was it clear that this was going to work where's the light at the end of the tunnel for you in this story well getting three clients right off the bat when we launched the offer diagnostic was definitely a turning point i think the sort of backup of that the like yes it, it was a turning point and you are doing the right thing was we ran another webinar and got another client immediately it was like all right we're 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 starting to figure out how to market this. We're starting to figure out, you know, who we're talking to. Um, 
and we're we're making progress you know it can be hard to see the progress when you're in the day to day and you're like okay we're trying this and we're giving it a go and no maybe maybe we should do that and and then you start to see like this works we got to just keep doing it and we will get there and i think that is you know a really big deal to have that that sort of second step of this is going to work okay so for for in our business where you know you had we had a couple of early successes and then we had some repeatable successes after doing more webinars. Um, where were some other obstacles that made you realize that the land of success might be a little bit farther away than you initially thought? We have had our uh, technical trials during all of this. And I think that's been something that has kept me on my toes. <laughs> um, we've tried out a variety of different delivery options, um, different membership uh, plugins or um, software. We've tried a few different ways of delivering the vault, the all the templates and swipe files. Um, I don't know if we've still perfected it, but man, it's getting better. Um, so we are at a point now where we have, we're using tables, Google tables to um, store the vault. So everything has a line with what it is, how you can use it, a link to the actual document, which seems to help people a lot. We've made what we're calling mini playbooks where um, I group some of those documents together in a, you know, you want to write a Facebook ad, here's what you need. You want to build a funnel, here's what you need. You want to create content, here's what you need. It's a collection of, of documents, um, spreadsheets, you know, there are all sorts of different things, but they're documents that will help you get a specific outcome. They're not like the regular monthly playbooks. The monthly playbooks are, you know, text, a lot of text, a lot of explanation, a lot of how to, and then have documents with them. The mini playbooks are basically just the documents. Also helped people, I think, feel less overwhelmed with everything that's available. We have settled on a way to, you know, protect things for only members. We've settled on a way to have ch the checkout. So things are starting to come together. But um, I think I've rebuilt some things three or four times because of all of the different transitions that we've made. You know, there's some that I really, really wanted to work out, but we just couldn't get them to do what we needed them to do. And, you know, there are still bits and pieces that I think probably will get built again at some point in the future. But we are at a point where it feels like what I'm building is actually going to work and <laughs> we won't be changing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're also, we have like, some real like fingers and toes crossed that we that Google Tables is open internationally before we yep. get too many international clients. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so talk to me about in our business what 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 was that last test? What were the things that that had to happen in order for you and and me to feel comfortable continuing down this path? I think that having passed a dozen members and getting really good feedback from them on, you know, that they're learning, that the things are helpful that we've created, that, you know, they're finding our resources valuable has been, you know, uh, very enjoyable at this point. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that there's members who are willing to share this with their lists because it has been so helpful for them. Um, I'm thrilled that somebody who bought a diagnostic showed up for the next webinar uh, just because she wanted, you know, to reiterate the information that we went over and she was willing at the end to talk about her experience. Um, and she did that without us asking, you know, I think that those types of things really help my heart know that we are going in the right direction, that we are building something that is truly helpful, that we are building something that you know, it supports our business and our team, but it's also helping to support other businesses um, to reach their goals. Okay. Tell me how different things are now than they were when you first got started. So at this point, you know, our, our day-to-day -day life is, is different. Um, we still work a similar amount of hours, but we're much more creative. We are you know, constantly creating new things, whether it's content or, um, you know, new swipe files or, uh, you know, writing more emails. It's 
it's a much more focused on the creative aspect for us. And we're much more focused on helping people who are our friends because we are getting to know our members. Um, and instead of helping an established business, you know, create content, we are helping small businesses, solopreneurs to add revenue streams, which is really satisfying on a personal level. Um, being able to look at another business and say, you know, I helped them make more money so that they can, you know, stay home with their kids so they can have more family time so they can, you know, go on vacation um, and live a better life is very satisfying. I really uh, enjoy being able to, to look at that, uh, to look at our members and say, you know, we're actually helping. Can you, we'll, we'll link to it below, but can you just say like where people can, can get more information? Yeah. So, um, the membership is available at amplifiednow.com slash become dash a dash member. Um, it's also just, you can link to it from our homepage, but, um, the membership, there's a monthly option and a yearly option. You get a monthly playbook. Um, there's a different topic each month that we go over. Um, we've had one on group coaching, one on individual coaching, um, we're next one coming up is going to be about, uh, creating an opt-in that, uh, you know, your, your ideal client really would like to get You have access to all the resources in the vault, which includes our courses like copy blocks and webinar blocks. It includes all of our swipe files, uh, templates, uh, checklists, um, slide decks. I mean, there's so much different stuff in there. Um, and you get it all, you know, all in one list, you get it broken into the mini playbooks. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can sort of access and use that information. So, you know, I think the membership is super valuable. I think it doesn't really matter what stage your business is, whether you have just started or you, you know, have been working for a few years, if you're pivoting, if you sell services or products, or, um, you know, you focus on affiliate income. I think that, you know, no matter what, you will get value out of this. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can get to know you. We have community calls every month um, where we can answer questions or go over information in the playbooks. Um, you know, we're we're wanting to do this to help people. So we're really hoping that people who join take advantage of that and, you know, come to us and ask us questions and let us help them build businesses that sustain. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.